What's cracking, YouTube? It's Vanelto back again with Hogwarts Legacy, the game I have been waiting for for the longest time. Oh, I'm excited to be playing this game and uploading part two. This is gonna be a blast of a playthrough. As I said in the last video, I have like two other videos that aren't Hogwarts Legacy that I'll be uploading. And then after those two, I'll be uploading straight Hogwarts Legacy until I finish this game. Cause everything else is getting put on the back burner. I'm excited for this. I am in House Slytherin. Oh my gosh. And there's my character looking cool as ever. I also like the fact that you can move this cursor around with the touchpad. But enough about that, let's get into this. And let's continue. I'm recording this literally a few hours after I recorded the last video. Because after I recorded the first video, went to sleep. The first Hogwarts video, I should say. Went to sleep and then woke up. And now I'm going to record some more. Let's see what's over here. More dorms? Third years. So this is where the third years stay. I always wanted to know what in in entirety how the um how the uh Slytherin dorms look like. I wonder if this armor is enchanted, if it's gonna move eventually. But enough about that, we should go meet our um I suppose some introductions are in order. Meet our classmates. I suppose. No. Can I help you? Yeah. Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, <clears throat> impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Hmm. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. Good luck today. Not sure what I did to deserve that. I didn't fire that at you. Honestly, she should be the one saying um saying that. Cause it almost hit her. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Man, Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. We had it handled. We handled it. 
And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. I'm, I'm pretty terrible at ch regular chess, like... I assume wizard chess isn't the too different from regular chess, but yeah, I lack the, um, I guess, ability to read an opponent to be able to be good at chess. I'm absolutely horrendous at chess. I tend not to use my head. Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. It's like, are you also, talking to me? That's how that you're talking about me. The moves are That's always so over obvious. Like Why does no one else see it? All right, see you then. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. She kind of reminds me of Her Hermione Loki. Kind of being like a know-it-all. Okay, that's kind of cool. I, I think I heard one. I doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. I like terrifying. I do like to make an entrance. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. <clears throat> Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. That's hilarious. <laughs> Trolling the... For, uh, the uh, first years. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Well, it's nice meeting you. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Mm. Cool. What is it? 
It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Mm. <clears throat> Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up! Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay. Revelio. Kelpie statue. The statue depicts uh, the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness monster, monster in Scotland. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, this opens the... F okay, that opens the field guide. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks the, your current challenge prog progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Collecting your first field guide page unlocked a new challenge category. Challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards unlocked in each tier you complete from it. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. The Magnificent Staircase of Hogwarts. In this view, you can see flue flames available in that region. region. Green flue flames represent the flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flue flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Greenhouse houses. Select the library annex region to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flame for you. Use the map. Okay. I like how they designed the map. It looks really cool. Ah. 
And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Oh, that's cool. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Yeah, I can't tell you anything yet. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Yeah, see, if I would have told her, he would have heard. must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. She's very grandmotherly. All right, can I um <clears throat> change my gear? I can. I'm gonna look at this stuff first though. Welcome to Hogwarts. Talk to Professor Fig. All right. Okay, let's talk to Professor Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade see? Professor he Weaver's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yeah, he would have heard that and been like, Did you not hear what I told you earlier? Don't tell anybody. You did, sir. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Enchantment? 
Okay. Main quests, some are locked. I mean, a spell or a level requirement to unlock. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments. Okay, or as quest rewards. Uh, let's do defense against the Dark Arts first. Levioso is gonna be really useful. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Yeah, tell me You'll loose enjoy like Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yes, freedom. I can finally move around. I can do what I want. Lumos. Also, I can't do this yet. Protego. I can't believe that is still the headmaster. He obviously keeps the job. Oh, I can do it. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha barmy thinks I'm potty. Mean? What does potty mean? But it's this mean? painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there others? Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. I'll have a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. It's honestly not that difficult. All you gotta do is find do come the... and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. All you gotta do is find the location in the painting. Lumos! After you cast Lumos. That spot must be a clue. See? I should look around in case it's nearby. I wish I had Accio so I can get that. Can I jump and grab this it? This looks like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame. That's the last time I have a potion idea that I don't write down. Oh, the, the here. Oh, cool. I wasn't even near the moth, and it came over to the light. There was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh, I can get that uh, other thing now. Now I, uh, I need to get eight field guide pages to get the gloves. Okay. How do I get access to this? Do I have to wait?
complete two main story quests. Legendary Gloves. Okay. Yo! Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Easily. Follow the clues next time. I found the location <laughs> depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Don't say I have a knack for solving riddles, because I don't. I should have seen that. I really don't have a knack for solving riddles. That one, first off, was, e was an easy one to figure out. And two, I've actually already seen uh, that one solved on YouTube. We'll see how well I do against those other, um, those other, uh... Revelio. We'll see how I do against, uh, with those other, um, <clears throat> what's it called? Protego. I'm not tracking anything. Oh, it moved. I saw the uh, thing move. I was hoping I would get to see one move. Oh, no, not charms. Dark defense against the dark cards. That's the one I want to follow. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's loading. Revelio. Oh wait, isn't this the place where um? Ron, Ron's spell backfired and he started cup coughing up those disgusting ass slugs. I think this is that courtyard. Oh, look at the little cat. I love cats. I wish you could have gotten to like have your own pet that you can bring and choose which pet you want to bring with you. That would have been so cool. I love cats so much. Okay, I can't do anything with this, I guess. Revelio. No. how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Oh, she invented it. That's pretty cool. Why, when I go to Gringotts, do I get some sniveling wizard telling me you frittered away half our fortune on the sweets trolley? Dang. Are you trying to bankrupt us? Put it on my mother's account, you say. Well, no more. I am cutting you off. Oof. Yeah, that guy's an idiot. Oh, my bad. That guy's an idiot for doing that. That's actually funny. Did you just blink? Not sure he's in at the present moment, the headmaster. Would be sure to tell him how very much you despise him. Thank you. I oh, appreciate that. Oh, my exams. Not a one of them deserves more than a T. Might as well be surrounded by Jarvis. He is not a fan of kids. Why do they have an Iron Maiden? school handy resource indeed your field guide 
I'm most pleased to be included. Okay, let's begin this quest. Is that all you've got? Uh, Professor Hecate! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Hmm. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. She's pretty cool. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. Ooh, let's go. Oh, that thing is fast. Hold on. Go, go, go. <laughs> that, it, it almost caught me in the first half. It really almost caught me. Levioso. Piece of cake. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak Levioso. So, well done. Cool. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This Levioso, this can't be your first duel. Let's just say I do enjoy a lively duel. Levioso. Oh. Got us with a step. You were good. Now perceptive. Thank you. Not bad for a beginner. Messed up the um. You give as good as Harry. you get. <laughs> or the block, but yeah. I can't wait to get into more I dueling. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you. Not the other way around. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Yeah, she seems really powerful. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, 
I always wanted to go in this room. When I saw this from the uh, Harry Potter movies, I always wanted to actually go in there. I mean, we do see what's in there in the movies, but I want to personally go in there. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Okay, so you're boring. Got it. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. You got me. It wasn't. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you are not You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. I'm always interested in time. anything that has to do with, um, battle. Or actually, I'm, I'm not gonna wear this outfit yet. I am going to... Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. All right, let's go to the next class. Sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. Whoa, what? Leave me be. Why is she chasing him with an axe? Oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flat? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boo, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> So that's my first encounter with Peeves. Hmm, he likes to get people in trouble. Ooh, what's through here? Oh, that's a puzzle. will pet every single cat in the game. There's another one. It has a twin. He's like, come over here and pet me too. I look just like him. Yeah, there you go. So adorable. There are some impressive new brooms. Alright, let's get to class. Oh, I wish I could spend all day in fire. <laughs> he 
Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. What's up? Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Yes, I'm Stephen. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. that Do wasn't you fun. Was that even remember sleeping? how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Nah. This is my first year here. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Nice. Now I can get those Akio. floating pages. That Sick. is so bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I like this teacher. This might be my favorite teacher so far because he's just animated and he's telling jokes. The jokes aren't landing, but he's telling jokes. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Okay. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. The summoning... Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more. Oh, I was about to say, where did everyone go? Fall. Yes? They're over there. Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. The summoning charm Accio pulls a target closer to the caster. Hold R2 and press the assigned button to cast Accio and pull a target closer. Press the button again to cease casting the spell. Accio! Excellent control there. Mm. That's it. Very good. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. Nice. Okay, I see how that's gonna work. That's kind of cool. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. I agree. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. 
You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What? That is how it's done. Akio. Yeah. Splendid. Misha. Fifty on the board. I'm gonna go for that one all the way in the corner. Oh, I should have kept holding on to it so I can knock her out. Let us do this. Okay, I'm gonna have to get 50 on this one. Yes. I'm gonna have to get 50. Okay, don't fuck this up, Steven. I fucked it up. I held on to it too long. No! Ah. I wanted to win that so badly, but I messed it up. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Uh, I won't lose this time. Oh, but the timing, you're gonna get <laughs> I the think timing we are now. well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go! Oof. That is how it's done. Akio. Watch this. Oh no, she's gonna get both of ours knocked off. Can I? I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. Is it gonna let me, um... I think it bugged. I think it bugged out. Because it won't let me do anything. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. I don't know Clear? why that bugged out there. Yes, sir. That was weird. Let us see this. I think I should hold the button until it gets to maybe 20. There we go. I just gave her a point, didn't That's I? It. Yes, I did. Here we go. I should not have done that. <laughs> yes. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Stay on there, stay on there, stay on there, please! Oh! All right, well, I got it. All right, it, it still counted. Okay, cool. I was worried there for a second. That is how it's done. Akio. Yeah, she won that one again. Very good. Hey, I keep messing up and losing. I hate that. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. Okay, you so will angle matters. 
This round settles it all. Angle, well, the angling of it what? matters a lot. There we go. I'm gonna wait. Ooh, please stop, please stop. Yes. Splendid. Let us see this. Oh, she's gonna knock mine out of the way. Okay, now. Both of you, well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive, not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Okay, so that's cool. You can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Wagadu is a bigger You'd school be using it than clothing to be precise. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? 
You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right, and with that, I'm gonna end the video right here. The end of Charms class. We've learned Accio. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next in the next one. Peace.